relaxing, restful day yesterday, which is nice. <sighs> Clean, full, rested, shaved, which is uh, taking off four weeks of facial hair with a disposable razor. It takes uh, some time and <laughs> quite a lot of doing. But uh, sometimes it gets itchy into my my buff and stuff like that, so I took it off. Um, yeah, pretty nice day, 60s. And I try to do about 20 miles today. And I'll be kind of hugging, you know, going gradually up the rim. The trail doesn't climb straight up, but it kind of slowly goes up at an angle, you know, which is kind of a sensible <laughs> way of plotting the trail. Yeah, it should be nice. Things uh, are about to, I think, kind of start looking quite different um, once you get up on that plateau. So, yeah, we'll see more of that in a bit. <laughs> well, I'm sure, uh, Later today or tomorrow, this will no longer be as much of a, of a novelty as it is right now. But yeah, nice pine <coughs> forest. <sighs> Very nice. Well, here's Weber Creek. And trailhead up here. I'm gonna drink some water, filter some water, and enjoy a rare stream. Done about 10 miles since this morning, so 20 is the goal, so perfect halfway point, I guess. Looking west there, sun set behind that ridge, and uh, I am, I believe at exactly at mile 480. So, just kind of climbed up along the East Verde River, which is over that way a little bit, um, not too far, a couple hundred feet maybe, and just wasn't seeing any flat spots, so I popped up here, and uh, yeah, this will do just fine. Doesn't look like a you know, it gets uh, used regularly at all, uh, but it'll do. And, uh, yeah, so tomorrow, you know, the, uh, the goal is uh, my first 30. And, um, frankly, that's my goal kind of daily going out. We'll see how it works. Um, I've gotten pretty close thus far, and that's with, like, thousands of feet of elevation gain and drop. So I'm not sure why I shouldn't be able to accomplish that on a plateau. Uh, but you never know. <laughs> there could be weird stretches of the uh, fun mud. Although that day I did more miles than I expected. Anyhow, blah blah blah. I'm gonna cook and eat, but I'm not hungry. I'm still gonna do it. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Good night. Well, here's the General Springs cabin. And I must bring because people sometimes sleep in there. Uh, but not me, I'm not, I'm not sleeping in there. Yep. 
And I got up on the other side there, following tracks. Uh, it's kind of hard to cross some of these areas, so I just gotta walk in the water. Ooh. Oh yeah. Very pretty though, man. It's really nice up here. <sighs> so this is so nice. What a contrast. Uh, I mean, essentially, except for portions of the trail, Mount Micah, Mazatzal, Superstitions, uh, portions of the Huachuca and Rincon Mountains. Um, <clears throat> you know, the past four weeks, the vast majority has been through desert. And it's so nice to be up here in this environment, uh, especially knowing that it's well, I'd say practically permanent, really. Um, majority of the remainder is going to be like this, and yeah, this is very nice. The feet are got nice and clean, <laughs> given some of those little fords back there. Whew, no time to take my glasses off. This is bright snow, real bright. Yeah, right. yeah. So that climb from camp seven seven a.m. to nine p.m. up the rim, switchbacks, little snow traverses, river fords. Uh, took, well, that was a five mile stretch. It took uh, two hours. So, considering what I've got for the rest of today, I should, should be meeting my, my targets. Uh, in the next three hours, about 10, 10 miles. Get in 15 by my five hour mark. And, uh, yeah, take a nice long breather. Eat some of these kettle style potato chips. Craving those. Been eating Pop Tarts for breakfast. Just had a Nutrigrain bar. Another, like a kind energy bar. I want fatty, salty stuff. <laughs> and I will have. Who's back? The old mud. Um, I'm really hoping this is just a short stretch. Ooh. I was gonna say no eight, ten mile slog, and I hope it's no one mile slog. Uh, it, uh, let's see, what, what kind of uh, attributes does this mud have? Is it doing what the other one did? Hmm. Curious. Seems a little different. It's uh, a little softer, and it's not building up. Huh. It's very, it's very fascinating. It's not uh, forming a uh, large layer on the bottom of my shoes. It's just you know. Mud. I mean, there's some there. So, all right. I can deal with this, I suppose. Uh, oh, boy. All right. 
You know, if I see a creek again, I, I think I will afford it. I'm just gonna do that right now. Yep, all right. My feet are going to be covered in really fine mud. And there's not a lot of water sources coming up to clean them off with. And right here is nice and dry. So what I may do is give them a rinse right now while this stuff's still wet before it turns into a uh, proper uh, dry layer of clay. Although it's not clay type mud. All right, no more mud talk. Changing the topic. All right, stop the video to get a photo. Mile 500. Feels better than mile 400. Yeah. Nice. Nice little milestone. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Alright, homestead tank. There's a cow tank. And uh, the first cow tank I'll be filtering at, they're uh, pretty frequent on the trail, but on the southern portions you can uh, kind of avoid them. On the northern portions, I'll probably be hitting at least one a day. Uh, so, let me get some water. This is just so pretty through here. Well, 6.15, I got camp set up. Whew, long day. Yeah, I'm gonna get cooking and uh, get some water going. Hopefully get that uh, ready to uh, add, <laughs> add the rice at like 6.30 and uh, then I'll be ready to eat at 7. Totally, I'm tired, I'm having a hard time talking. Uh, yeah, last mile was kind of rough. It was like, oh, right calf is pretty tight. So I'm going to get going, do some stretches, eat, massage my legs, and uh, kind of review the day. It's kind of been like this for a bit now, which uh, kind of caught me off guard, I guess. You know, after yesterday, just kind of snow up uh, on the ridge of the rim and then uh, pretty much just disappeared but <clears throat> it's been pretty consistent for a bit now and uh, I'm really hoping uh, at some point I can get out of it because right now I'm kind of staying on top of it it's still pretty firm from the freeze last night but as it softens up, it's much difficult, much more difficult to, to navigate. Quite, quite hard, in fact. So, yeah, hopefully I get around on another side um, of this slope. Um, and uh, things will improve. We'll see. <laughs> Who knows? Well... Here's the, the tank, it's, uh, right now it's more like a, almost like a lake, you know, pretty full, overflowing little creek, kind of flowing off there, which I'll wash my, sho my socks in, you, can't, you don't want to wash stuff in the main body, uh, but uh, yeah, I came out of the snow from that direction back there, bought some pretty good slopes and had you know, multiple uh, feet of snow, still firm from last night, like I was saying, so you can just kind of quickly kind of get across it. But uh, I'd rather not have to do that. Uh, I'm headed this direction, and I'm hoping, 
I don't have to deal with snow or mud. That'd be great. I'll, be, I'll have both, but uh, hopefully in small amounts. So I'm going to wash my socks and drink some water and get going. Yeah, nice uh, meadow, which I'll call Mudo. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, that's a bit. I'm trying to do it. Getting a little bit of the snow, which I'm hoping. Well, I'm not going to repeat myself. Probably a bit later, but it's just not now. Oh boy. Here we go. Um, again, this is new mud. This is Colorado Plateau mud. So much better than Sonoran Desert mud. <sighs> yeah. Now popping out of the, just a little bit, not too bad back there, but some little snow patches. Some of them are pretty uh, slushy too, so post hold a couple times down on my knees. For a little bit, but uh, we're popping up here. Uh, this is a really nice area, just really pretty, kind of open forest here. Pine stands, uh, yeah. We'll see where this takes you though. Sometimes you think, oh, we're gonna go up over this ridge, or, and the trail just takes you kind of back where you came from a little bit. <clears throat> well. Eventually it takes you away, but sometimes it can be quite a long winding route. A long and winding road, right? Whew. There's a campground here near, kind of near Mormon Lake, I guess. It's got some streams flowing and the like. And uh, yeah, it looks closed off, you know. No cars up here. Uh, no evidence of anybody coming through. Except for maybe hikers, but um, yeah. So I'm gonna fill up at the stream, and I know <laughs> there's gonna be more of them <sighs> on my way to my campsite. But I, I can't count on those ones. I know I can count on this one. There's not supposed to be any more, but with all the snow melt, there probably will be. But better safe than sorry. So I'm gonna carry uh, a bit for uh, about eight more miles uh, or so to camp, and then. Uh, yeah, call it a day. comes down here. I mean the ground just 50 feet back there completely changed just immediately and now it's rock and it looks like they got a uh, sorry got like kind of a, you know, a dam block uh, probably for I don't know snow melt um, or it's like Adrian's wall coming way west and south. Alrighty, a little after six, probably about a quarter after, there's the trail, you know, coming up from the south, and uh, you walk, oh, it's been nice past few miles, very flat and dry. You got this uh, field right here, and uh, yeah, there's the tent, the trail cuts off and goes, um, goes east a little bit. And then continues on north, but six o'clock, and uh, I got to five forty-six at exactly six o'clock. Uh, well, a couple minutes before actually, but uh, yeah, that was uh, kind of my goal. You know, initially yesterday and this morning, I was thinking oh, I'll do like thirty-five, and then kind of right out of the gates this morning, I started hitting a lot of snow fields and up and down and mud and stuff and I was like well I'll be happy with 30 but I got 33 so that's really nice puts me in a good position to get into pine tomorrow no it doesn't Flagstaff rather um, so I'm gonna get up a little early get in there uh, you know around 2 230 
we got a room booked and everything so yeah that'll i'm looking forward to that um but yeah this site is really great you know um i, I really dig being next to this field here um i think there's some water down there there's guaranteed to be some uh some interesting kind of birds uh uh, around here hopefully we can hear him uh, this evening and in the morning uh yeah all right sun's coming up over there leaving my sight 6 45 i thought i'd leave at six but boy i'll tell you it was supposed to be colder la uh, the night before last you know but man, I think it's because I'm down in this, you know, this dip here, this clearing, all that cooler air settles down. Because, uh, yeah, it it's, feels much colder today than it was yesterday morning. Um, shoes, frozen solid. Uh, and they weren't yesterday, so that's a good, uh, Good indicator right there. Maybe they were a little bit more wet <clears throat> from yesterday's hike than they were the day from the day before. In fact, that is the case. But um, yeah, it just felt much colder. So in about 15, 20 minutes, I should feel pretty comfortable. Though it's that first uh, first mile or so until you get warm. Start to loosen up a bit. <clears throat> yep. So I'll see what uh, today holds for us. I got 24 miles into Flagstaff. So, uh, I don't know, at first I was going to say coyote, but they're hitting some notes that, I don't know, I don't hear from coy coyotes before, but, yeah, I don't know, who knows. Um, yeah. <laughs> Guess they don't like me talking. This early in the war. So anyhow, heading into Flagstaff. I got a room booked for a couple nights at a place that may or may not be kind of a, just a real crappy place. Um, and you think like, oh, you sleep outside, you know, you, you've been sleeping outside, you know, obviously with a little bit of staying in some hotels and stuff, but so anything will be better, but I don't know. This is clean to me. Yeah. Being outside and in nature to me feels very clean in many ways. We first started backpacking. Man, those first couple trips, man, that night out. Man, I'm just sitting there, every little sound freaks you out. And you're holding some little camping knife, Leatherman or something in your hand, thinking you're gonna fight off whatever sort of threatening creatures coming for you. And you know, worst case scenario, it's probably just a spider or something, or a you know, chipmunk. But now, yeah, I don't, it's funny. And for some time, I guess, like, it doesn't even, Occurred to me to be afraid at night, you know. It's kind of funny because that's such a <clears throat> thing that's built into you, uh, I guess. Such a strong feeling you have from being a kid, and a lot of people don't ever get over it into their adult life, you know. Unless you do this kind of stuff, I think it's not something you intellectualize and you know, kind of objectively look at. That's just not how it works. <laughs> so you gotta do this stuff to get rid of it, I think. And um, yeah, 
So if nothing else, backpacking prepares me to be alone in the woods. Okay, so I just turned the camera off. That was like a, a fair number <laughs> of uh, elk or something like that. They didn't look like deer to me. Uh, but again, they're running through the trees there, through that stand. Um, they look pretty, pretty large, man. So, oh yeah, there's some more. If you can see them. Yeah, those are, uh, those are not deer. Those are elk. Moving, man. <laughs> really hard to keep a still frame when uh, it's zoomed in so much. And I'm not sure who uh, administers this if this is national, you know, forest um, or something with the state. Uh, or maybe even the city, but I know it does turn into the Flagstaff Urban Trail, um, so it's kind of cool. I mean, you know, I've been seeing some kids on mountain bikes, a guy, you know, trail running, another guy going out for a couple night backpacking trip, um, and if you look around you, <coughs> and me, I guess, or more specifically, uh, you know, I'm I'm an hour's walk from downtown Flagstaff, so. Kind of cool, you know, they have access to this. Um, yeah. Well, here I am, walking past Sand Club into Old Flagstaff. <laughs>